using the CheckSafe app. You all have a unique username and password. Mine's already in the system, so I'll click on. Off we go. Front menu, start check. Sync, that's syncing all checks that are sitting in the system. There's been a bad signal or poor data. They will sit on the device until you sync them. Previous checks, you can view previous checks on the app itself, pull them through from the server if you get stopped at roadside. Information about the app itself, how it should be used, and what the driver should be looking for. Documents, these are documents that are pushed to the app from the back office. So there could be stuff like your training, your highway code, the driver handbook, the highway code, etc. I'll do a start check. As you start to type registration, you can clear, clearly see here with the vehicle ended, so you can't use the check for that. You've also got a VOR vehicle, again, you can't check the vehicle. I'll use bl 6 e as my option. Perform the check. We'll use the van check. As you see clearly here, we've got a defect outstanding, but it's serviceable defect. A windscreen was reported for cracked near side windscreen. The service dot is here. Smart checks arriving on Monday, the 28th of July, to do smart repair. Don't repeat unless it's worse. And there is the photograph of the actual windscreen itself. Again, poetic license because we're on a phone. You would clearly see the crack. If the crack was worse, you could then defect it again. If not, no need to repeat the defect. Just carry on with a new check. We take a photograph of the regist registration plate. We do this because we use AMPR to cross-reference. The information that's put into the system. And it's, then it's pass and fail or pass and fail not applicable questions. You can't move on, you must press something or enter some information. I must enter information, and there I go. Top right hand corner light bulb. This is the light bulb. This is actually using the flash of the camera. So you can use it as a torch to look at tires, etc., when it's dark in the mornings and evenings. Drop downs for fuel, etc., and then you can literally touch the buttons, pass and fail. We've already failed the windscreen once, it's been serviceable, it's okay, so we can carry on past that. All's good. Now we're missing a height indicator. We can take a photograph of that area you wanted to, I'll just say it's missing. And we'll carry on. That's a fail already. I'm also going to put on the horns fail, but I can talk to the system as well. Horn not working. No need to take a photograph. And then, literally, as you walk in the vehicle, you can touch the buttons. As you see, I'm touching quite quickly because I'm actually at a desk table to do it. However, you'll be walking in the vehicle, checking the vehicle as you go. Failing anything's failed, or passing anything's passing. Not applicable for certain things. There could be some free text to enter in certain questions. But generally, it literally is pass and fail, pass and fail. As we get to the end, some general photographs for the notes if you want to. We confirm everything's okay. It's not because we've got some fails in there. I'm okay to drive, I'm within the law, and I'm aware of the drugs and alcohol policy. I'll pass that. Little aid memo at the end. We've got a height indicator missing from the cab and the horn's not working. Now you might find the height indicator and stick it back up again. If so, you're not committed yet, go back in again and press pass. I'm happy so I'll submit that. That's all submitted, the photograph submitted. If there was a poor signal, no data, it would tell you on this screen, store to device,
Please think later. Thank you.